Hi, it's Green 23 here. This question popped up a few times in my comments, so in this video, I'll be going over how to extract NIFs and set up Alpha Studio Mod Organizer 2. I only use Mod Organizer 2, so you'll have to find other videos for Vortex. Links will be in the description. So let's say that I want to extract the Iron Armor to edit in Alpha Studio. So in order to do that, you'll first need to navigate to where your main um, Skyrim installation folder is. Uh, usually is located in Steam, Steam Maps, Commons, Skyrim Special Edition, and this is where the game, um, the, the exe file is. So from here, you want to navigate to the data folder, and then you'll find all the BSA folders. This is where all the resources the Skyrim uses is stored. So like your animation files, interface, meshes, and so on. But in order to get those, you need an extractor to get files from this BSA. So what I use, there's several, but the one I use is the Bethesda Archive Extractor on Nexus. This is what I use. Um, and it lets you browse them and get individual files, but I'll go more detail a little bit later. So in order to download, you get to go to files and then manual download. And once you get that file and extract it, it'll give you the, the um, this folder. And inside, you want to click on BAE or the BAE file, and it'll bring you up to here. This is the extractor. So in order to... Um, uh, extract stuff, there's two ways about it. You either go to File, Open Folder, and then navigate to where these BAs are located, or you can also just drag it in. So for Alpha Studio, most of the armor meshes and stuff are located in your meshes zero full of file right here. So I'll just drag that in. Now, once you're here, you can extract all the files by going to Extract. And then navigate to the folder where you want them to be, ex uh, where you want them extracted to. For me, I like to, I created the raw folder here, and that's where I um, extract them to. Uh, but you can extract to whichever location you want. So I don't want to extract all of them. And then from here, you, you can also with the BAE, you can also um, browse the BS, BSA folders by just clicking on the links and then following where they go. So the, here's clothing and the critters are located, um, actors, so these will be all your creatures and stuff, but in this case let's say I still want that iron armor. So I'll look for armor and then the iron armor. Let's say I want the female version. Go to female and let's say I want these versions. So from here I can click these and I'll only uh, click these two, so the zero and the one file, click those, extract, back to that raw folder I mentioned, and then select folder, and it'll be extracted into there. You can also search for files. So let's say um, a horse. We want to look for the horse mesh. And this will give you where um, all the horse meshes, and you just find whichever one you want it. Uh, so here will be the creatures, and then this is the uh, RVAC. So once you extract them, you navigate them to that folder and iron. I extracted a bunch earlier, but here's the Curace heavy, uh, the zero, the one meshes. So that's the meshes. Now for Alphabet Studio, for Alpha Studio, once you finish installing it into Mod Organization 2, and when you have it installed, you have to run Alphabet Studio through your mod manager. You cannot run it from the desktop. So this is what happens if you run it from desktop. Uh, get error folder. So from here, and then um, if you notice from here, I installed the black swords armor, and here's the armor for it. So for normal installation, if you installed everything properly in Mod Organizer 2, The, the textures will be properly loaded because the uh, the 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 modern mod managers like Vortex and Modernizer 2 they work off a virtual folder system. So anything here, uh, it, it'll load from there and also load from the vanilla folders, uh, the vanilla meshes, obviously. But when you load from outside, 
if it's properly set up, it will only load from what's ever in your data folder here. So if you wanted to use, so let's say I drag this armor back in. As you can see, there's no textures because the mod is missing from here. In order to get textures, if you um, load it Alpha Studio anywhere other than Mod Organizer 2 or whatever mod manager you're using, you'll have no textures. In order to get the textures, you'll have to extract the whole mod into your data folder, but that's not recommended because it can get very messy and you can mess up um, your saves very easily if you uh, manually ins install mods. Um, Nowadays, it's much preferred and recommended to actually use a mod manager uh, such as Mod Organizer or Vortex. So remember, uh, when you launch Alpha Studio, make sure you're launching from the mod manager, whichever one you're using from here. and you'll have textures working. Now, if your textures are still not working, even though you're loading from inside, most likely you haven't set up the settings properly. So to do that, you'll go to File, Settings, and from here in your game data path, you'll want to make sure it is actually set to the data, not to, uh, you want to make sure it's set to data, not to the Skyrim folder here. If you set it to this, it won't work. So I'll just do this just for demonstration. As you can see now, the arms are missing and everything. Uh, so all the textures are missing. You need to set it to File, Settings. Not this, not this folder. You want to go to the Data folder. So just select that. And then reload it. And there you go, it's all set. The same thing with body slides. And so if in body slide, you're also, uh, if you have no textures, then it's probably because you the settings is wrong. So you go to settings and then here, you want to make sure it's also set to data. And that will get your textures. So, okay, see back to Outfit Studio. And as you can see now that uh, because it's set to data and also it's open inside of your mod organizer or vortex whichever one you're using the textures are working and that's how you get nifs um, and that's it for this video hope it helps